We made it to Wednesday, almost the end of the month. It's the 30th of March. Hey there, I'm Ashton Altieri. Well, we did not expect much snow in Denver, and we certainly didn't get much. It was mostly rain yesterday into last night. Officially a trace of snow in Denver, so we're going to finish the month with 13.1 inches of snow. That's about an inch and a half above normal for March, which is, of course, our snowiest month of the year. For the season, we're right about where we should be. 47.1 inches so far. That's just slightly above normal through the end of March. So two different... Uh, uh, low pressure systems out to the east of us. This is going to mean a real big severe weather outbreak down here in the deep south today. But for us, it just means a lot of wind and maybe a few sprinkles in the mountains. We'll see a little residual light snow. Our next weather maker does not arrive until Thursday night into Friday. A couple issues with this thing. First of all, it's going to be too far north to have a big impact on our weather. Secondly, there's just not much moisture available with this thing. So most areas will stay mostly dry on Friday. But we have a 20% chance for a rain or snow shower in Metro Denver. Let's focus on today. Again, the mountains seeing a little bit of additional light snow as we go through the day. For Denver in the front range, it's going to be mainly dry, but we can't rule out a few sprinkles, maybe even a stray flurry or two later on. Best chance may end up being up here by this evening. Uh, I-76 up near the uh, Nebraska line, and then we'll also see scattered showers down here in southern Colorado by the end of the day. Pueblo, Walsenburg, Trinidad, etc. Winter weather advisory until noon for our western mountains. One to three inches of additional snowfall. Crested Butte, Aspen, Snowmass, Vail today, down into the San Juans as well, all these areas. And then down here, we have a winter weather advisory that goes until midnight for an additional two to four inches of snow for some of those south central mountains in the San Grays. Temperatures today topping out near 50, but with the wind gusting as high as 40 miles per hour. It's going to feel cooler than what the thermometer shows. Tomorrow, highs in the lower 60s, much less wind, more sunshine, more pleasant day. Friday, again, not terrible, but we got that storm coming through on Friday that week one. They'll have a 20% chance for showers for us. For Saturday, it looks great, mostly sunny, high 68. Things start to change a little bit on Sunday with increasing clouds. Rain showers after dark Sunday night and some April showers in the forecast to start next week. Hey, have a great day.